A recent graduate of the New Frontiers program in CIT, Una Martin got the idea for her company while travelling in Australia and returned home determined to introduce Irish consumers to a particularly Antipodean food product. Hello Dragons, my name is Una Martin and I'm here today to talk about Una's Pies, a savoury pie company based in Cork. Today I'm looking for €50,000 for 20% equity in my business. In 2008, I graduated with a Master's in Urban Planning and Sustainable Development. After realising due to the economic situation in Ireland at the time, a Master's in Urban Planning wasn't going to work, I decided to move to Australia. After three months in Australia, I discovered pies. Aussie pies are huge, meat pies that are generously filled in a variety of flavours that suit a lot of tastes. I returned to Ireland and started Una's Pies. I decided to go back into education and joined the New Frontiers team in CIT. In November, we launched the Una's Pies retail range. Three flavours, chicken chorizo and red pepper, roasted veg and goat's cheese, and a chicken leek and cheese. To date, I supplied 30 independent retailers, and in January of this year, I started supplying a major Irish multiple. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to your questions. Time to sample the merchandise. Una comes from a long line of bakers and cooks, but while her pies are likely to do well on the taste test, the dragons will always want to look at the books. Hi, Una. Hi. I'm Ramona. Can you talk to me about your turnover to date? Last year's figures are based on farmers' markets okay. alone, um, and my turnover was 130,000. Okay. Do your pies all retail at the same price? They retail at 4 99 Morning. Yeah, with a shelf life of uh, 12 days. Thank you. Hi, Una. I'm Barry. Hi, Hi Barry. Yeah, I, I've had the Australian pies in Australia, and they're unbelievable. Now, you wouldn't want to be eating loads of them. I think the calorie count is fairly high. What's the calorie count in, in your pies? The pies range between 450 and 700 calories, depending on the type. So really, we should be thinking about these as kind of a full meal, like a lunch. They're, they're a meal in themselves. The main unique selling point about my pies is that they contain an average chicken breast in each pie. Wow. You're saying now you've got listed in a multiple? Yes. Tesco, actually, yeah. who I, I'm dealing with. And uh, how much does it cost per unit then to produce? Currently, it's uh, 2 30 per unit to produce. Um, and that is packaging, um, production costs and raw ingredients. So what would you be looking for uh, from a dragon, Una? My biggest challenges at the moment are dealing with the distribution network, gaining the contacts in the industry that I need. What's the response to tastings? How is product tastings done? are very, very positive. I, I do a lot of them locally. Like it, once people taste the product, they they realise that it it is generously filled. They're I'm using all Irish ingredients where possible, and I think that you can tell straight away when you eat it. People know that it's not the typical kind of nasty pie that people associate. With, with the kind of convenience pies that are around. Eamon's experience and expertise in the food industry would seem to make him the most natural fit for Una's business. But how do the others feel? Una, pies really aren't my thing. And when I look at a food product, I tend to think what I can bring to it in terms of, of marketing and, and, and packaging and so on. And I think you've got this all sewn up, so I might. Thank you. Una, I don't think I'm able to get over the pie concern. <laughs> you know, when I pick it up, I see a, a lump of pastry. Yeah, I suppose th on the traffic light system, which a lot of the food companies are working off, I'm hitting medium on everything. So th they're, they're not as bad oh, as no, a lot of the other fine, but... products and ready meals that are out there. Una, I think 130,000 euro at farmers markets is, is, is exceptional. And I think this product sells when you're there to sell it. But as I said, I still have that pie perception barrier that I'm finding it difficult uh, to get around. So uh, unfortunately, I'm going to say I'm out. Thank you. Bruno, would you like to talk us through the 50,000, what, you, what you're going to do with that money? Uh, the challenge I have at the moment is it is working capital and scaling the business. Um, marketing is a huge challenge that I know that the, the brand will have and also exploring the export potential. You've done just great and I, I have absolutely no doubt you're going to be successful uh, but the things that you're looking for from a dragon I, I actually can't give you for that reason I wish you all the best but I'm out. Thank you.
Una, congratulations. The pies are fantastic. Um, I think you're on to something. You do need someone with connections in the retail trade. That's not me. I'm out. Thank you. So now just one dragon is left in the frame. Eamon Quinn would probably have been Una's first choice when she walked into the den. Now he's her only hope. It's a bit of a conundrum for me, Una, because um, on the one hand, um, you're kind of going against all the trends. You're producing a, a high calorie kind of meal. Um, at the other side, you're producing uh, a, a very good product with wholesome food and proper chicken and proper ingredients. I don't see it taking off. Um, and that's really my concern. But I think there is a market here. And I think you will uh, be able to grow the market organically yourself. But as an investment, I just don't think it's right for me just at the moment. So I'm out. Thank you. Thanks very much. And so, although they admire Una's achievements, the dragons don't want a piece of her pies.